homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, today I'm going to plant Cherokee Purple tomatoes. Now, Cherokee Purple is a large tomato. It'll grow about 11 feet long. We'll put a five foot cage on it. It'll grow over the top of the cage and all the way down the back side. So, if we look at these, the best thing to do with the Cherokee Purple, they're going to be such a big plant is to plant them as deep as you can plant them. But, being the website is way, our uh, channel is the way it is, I try my best to help people garden who have physical disabilities, who have a hard time uh, bending over and things like that. Uh, because, of course, I've got multiple sclerosis, so I try and do things that help me, too. But I'd like to show you three methods of no-bend planting. Of course, I'm going to use the pipe planter for one of them. I'm going to use the hoe for another one. Then I'm just going to do it by hand. So I'm going to show you the three different methods. Now, I'll just tell you, my favorite is the pipe planter. It's uh, fast. It's standing straight up, never having to bend over. Uh, if your plants aren't rooted well into your pots, uh, it doesn't matter. When they go down the tube, they're all going in the same hole. But, barring that, I'm gonna show you the three different methods. So I'm gonna bring you over here to the field. I've got 36 uh, Cherokee Purples to put in. So I'm going to bring you over here to the field and show you how to do this three, three methods. Before I go on with the three methods, I want to show you, see the field right here, there is a, a row right there. Okay, that's the width from here to here is the width of my tiller. Well, I want to leave a spot that I can keep this right in here tilled. So I need to plant on the other side of that. So you're going to see that I'm planting kind of in the middle between two rows. If we look, there's a row here. And then right there's a row. I'm going to plant somewhere in here to give me room to make sure that uh, I can till down on either side of these uh, tomatoes with my tractor and not have to do it by hand. Okay, right here is that row I was talking about. It's right there. So I want to be back here behind it. So you've seen us do the pipe planter. I'm going to kick it in. Put dirt up around it. And then all you do is you take your tomato plant Pull it out of its case, and then just drop it down through the tube. And when you pick up, there's your tomato plant planted deep. You pull some dirt around it, and that tomato's planted. Now, the next method. Let me set this down. The next method, I call it the kick method. And I scoot over here, about 18 inches to two feet. And then you just take your foot and you dig a hole. Okay, pull some dirt to the back of the hole. Then you take your plant and just drop it. You pull your dirt up around it to the point where your plant stands up. That's a no-dig method, or a no-bend method. Now let's do another one. Here's the other no-dig method, no-bend method, not no-dig. No-bend method. Take your hoe and dig you a decent little hole. And just like with the foot method, you just drop your plant right in there. But, your plants don't always drop standing up. 
So you have to pull it up there and stand it up yourself. Okay, and then you step it in just like before. Okay, that's the three methods that you can use. Now, I personally prefer the pipe, and the reason I prefer the pipe is when I drop the plant, it's already down in the hole, and it's already standing straight up. So all you have to do is just press some dirt around it. And you don't have to hold the hoe. You don't have to bend over to drop it, to drop it right in the right way like you do with the foot method. Okay? So I'm going to get at this, but I'm going to go back to my pipe planter because that's my preferred method. Okay, that's how you plant Cherokee purples. The three different ways you can plant them without bending over. Uh, I've got uh, granulated fertilizer here. This is 10, 10, 10. What am I gonna do with it? Each plant's gonna get about a teaspoon. If you wanna know about how to do fertilizer for different plants on our channel, there's a, put a link, I'll put a link to the video right up here about how to use fertilizer and then I'll also put a link down in the comments of the page, our Facebook page, where you can look up the, uh, the uh, paper that shows you how much fertilizer per 100 foot row. Now, I'll go ahead and blip that on the screen here. But when we look at those, you really need to watch the video so you understand how to use the paper. Now, I'm going to go down through here and give these each a teaspoon of this, but I'm not going to count it out. I'm just going to shake it to where about a handful, half a handful here per plant to begin with. And then later on during the year, I'll add some more. Now, if you like this kind of stuff, this homestead and do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homestead and stuff every week, sometimes one, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead. If you hit the little bell, it'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload every Sunday. So now, with that being said, it's time for me to get on to the next thing.